Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to How to Green Screen on the Cheap. It'll still cost you a bit of money though. Simple. First things first, find yourself a wall. Go one. Good work. Now we have to find ourselves a green screen. Don't go one. Try going to your local fabric craft shop. They'll have plenty of fabric to choose from. Try to find a sheet or a big bit of cloth which is as close to chroma key as you can get. And guys, it's not girly to go to a craft shop if you have your eyes closed. Where's the green? Feel out the green. Where's the green? And remember, we're on the cheap, so close enough is good enough. Take my green screen, for example. It's kind of this sort of limeish green colour, not really the chroma key colour, but I don't know where it came from, so it's free. What do I care? Now that you have your green screen, go back to that wall we were talking about earlier and hang it up with whatever you have lying around. I don't know, a buttload of tape, some nails, hooks, or even a friend. My arms are getting tired. Now the most important part about doing a good green screen, other than having a camera to record it and software to edit it and the green screen itself, is lighting. Now most green screening videos out there will want you to light the green screen separately, but hey, we're too cheap for that. So we're going to use a simpler light system. Go to your local hardware store and get three lights on the stand and one work light and have warm globes in all of them. Have a couple of floor lamps on one side and the work lights on the other. Don't forget about the backlight. Now the backlight is very important. It makes your shot look more like this and less like this. See what I mean? It's also important to diffuse these lights however you can. I used an ingenious baking paper method, but baking paper doesn't uh, attach to anything, so I had to use a complex system of paper clips and electrical tape to adhere it onto the light. I'm a bit of a MacGyver. And I use a white sheet for the work light, because the work lights get especially hot. Now to recording. Stand in front of your green screen with enough distance so the lights are on you, but you're not casting too much of a shadow on your green screen, because that'll make it harder to edit later. If you're too cheap to have your own camera, borrow one from a family member or a friend, but not from a stranger that's stealing. I recommend setting your camera to autofocus, so it focuses more on the lines on your face and less on the lines on the green screen that you couldn't be bothered ironing out, because we're so cheap. And if you can, adjust the white balance on your camera. It's not a racist thing, it just sets the colour tone for the shot. Make it a bit of a cooler tone. It works better when you're cutting out the green screen later. An important thing to keep in mind is not to use any green props. Check out this amazing thing. Also, don't wear any green clothing. Check out this amazing thing. Then hit record and film your clip. It's good to be here, Alan. Thanks for inviting me. Ah, ah, ah. You're too kind. Can I have an autograph? Of course. Now that we've recorded our green screen scene, let's uh, import it into the software in the computer and uh, get editing. Open up your video editing software. I use Final Cut Pro X. Now this will set you back over $300, but hey, there are other ways of getting this software. <laughs> like an Apple Store! Now once you've imported your clip, what you want to do is search transitions for the chroma key effect but then realize it's actually in the effects tab and then apply chroma key to your video. Now I assume it'll be a similar process no matter which video editing software you use, though I do base this on absolutely nothing. Now you can replace your background with anything, even a blue screen. The world is yours. And that's how you do green screening on the cheap. I'm Sam Tucker. Subscribe today. It's good to be here, Alan. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome, hot stuff. Ah, ah, ah. You're too kind. Can I have an autograph? Of course. Funk it down. Now, of course, if you're really, really cheap and don't want to spring for the cost of lighting and a green screen, well, you can always go outside into your backyard during the daytime because you've got the sun for your light and then just lie on the grass. It, um, it won't really work and you'll probably get bugs crawling on you. Oh, but uh, it's free.